Tisha G here and welcome back to my channel guys. So today as you can tell by the title, we're going to hop into some things, some pattern beauty things specifically. But before we hop into any of that, make sure you click that subscribe button and the bell notification if you're new. It's your first time watching me here so you miss out any more of my videos. Alright y'all, so I was watching Curls of a CPA. That is my girl. Love her videos. Love her content. Make sure you guys subscribe to her. She did a video about the Pattern Beauties Nectar. Like, um, let me show you guys. She did a video on the Detangling Nectar from Pattern Beauty. I saw that video and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to try what she's trying. She used it as a pre-poo, but she also mentioned in her video that you can use this thing as a leave-in conditioner as a leave-in conditioner. So you already know immediately, I had to immediately get my hands on this thing and I finally did. So we're gonna talk about this y'all, we're gonna talk about this because I definitely used it as a leave-in and I definitely have a lot to say. So I picked this up from the Pattern Beauty website. If you wanna know the price of it, it'll be down below in the description as well as the ingredients and all that good stuff, okay? So it says here that it's for separating and softening your hair. Um, it's formulated for curlies, coils, and tight textures when your strands want ease and definition. It also says here that their detangling nectar glazes curls to ease combing through knots and coils seeking their independence. It also says here that this formula is crafted from sea moss, aloe vera, and grapeseed oil. Those are top tier ingredients, y'all. Top tier ingredients, okay? Grapeseed oil, what y'all know about grapeseed oil? It's better than olive oil, huh? for sure. So that's amazing. It also says here that it leaves your hair with shine and hydration. So again, the hydration part is so important for me, you guys. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know hydration is major for me. I have low porosity and high porosity hair. So, like, it's definitely a combination of those two things going on in my hair, okay? Um, and I know that I'm not alone on that. So, having products that hydrate your hair, keep some moisture in your hair, all of that are things that I look for. Let's get into the demo part of this video. I'm gonna show you guys how I use this product on my hair. And then we're gonna talk about how I feel and give my final review. So I started off on damp hair. Um, I use a water bottle to kind of mist and spray and wet my hair before applying any of the nectar. I also did a full shampoo and conditioning of my hair during this wash day for sure. So after shampooing and conditioning my hair, my hair was prepped and fully ready. It was def it was definitely no longer wet because I ended up styling my hair the day after I washed it. That's why I decided to just wet my hair again with the water bottle. It says here in the instructions to apply to wet or dry hair, but I prefer to wet my hair first before putting any products in it. It also says to evenly section your hair before distributing the formula, which I guess the nectar. Um, apply product on each section from roots to ends, detangle hair from roots to ends with pattern wide tooth comb or pattern shower brush. A pro tip is to spray each section with hydrating mist before applying the detailing nectar for enhanced slip. Now the next step for me was to apply the detangling nectar. Now I also use other products which I'm gonna show you guys what else I used on top of this because like I said, I'm only using this as a leave-in for this video. So I applied the nectar to each section of my hair. I also use my fingers to detangle my hair and I also use my comb that I have here to detangle my hair as well as I was moving along. For my hair, I use the LCO method, which is leave-in, cream, and then an oil to seal everything in. For the cream, I use a combination of these two right here. This is the TGIN Miracle Repair X Curl Food Daily Moisturizer. It also has biotin castor oil in it and all types of good stuff. I paired it with this right here, which is my holy grail. Love this stuff. This is the Shea Bay Whipped Butter from Now I Am Nappy. If y'all haven't heard of Now I Am Nappy, my video review for them is way overdue, but please check them out. Love 
her stuff for sure. Black owned, both black owned, black owned everything over here, y'all. Okay, black owned. But I use these two together as a cream base. And I also combined it the two because I'm running out of the Miracle Repair Eggs low key. Okay, so I used the rest of what I had paired with the shea butter and it perfect. Also for some extra like sealant, I use this right here, which is the Pattern Beauty Styling Cream. Um, it's for rich moisture and definition. So I use that as an extra sealant because I will have my protective hairstyle um, my wig on for a while for the remainder of this winter. That's why my hair again is twisted up. And last but not least, I did use an oil. This is also from Now I Am Nappy. This is their DHT blocker. It's an herbal infused oil. Absolutely love this stuff. All types of good things in it. So yeah, it's about time for me to re-up as well. So this is good stuff. So now that that's out the way, let's get into like the texture of the product. So the detangling nectar, I noticed that it's really, it's not creamy. It's just really like jelly. It reminds me of some sort of a looser gel type of consistency. When putting it on my hands, like it was definitely like stringy in a way, kind of like reminds me of like, like a gel. Like I said, like a gel. So very jelly, um, which is a good thing for me because it lets me know that this is gonna stay on my hair strands once I, once I put it on. That's a good thing for me. Um, I really like seeing that type of consistency with the product. So overall, my experience with applying the nectar on my hair, I would say it was decent, like really decent. I, there was nothing that stood out to me that was like, oh, this is bad. I shouldn't be using this as a leave-in. I should just take it out. Like I shouldn't do nothing with it. Like none of that. All right, let's get into my final review and how I feel about the Pattern Beauty's Detangling Nectar. Is it a 10 out of 10? Not necessarily, probably like a seven out of 10, only because it's not your traditional leave-in. It's a nectar. It's really for detangling and smoothing your hair as well. So it's great at that, great at smoothing smoothing my hair but definitely not the most hydrating not the most moisturizing because again this isn't your traditional kind of leave-in conditioner y'all it's you can use it as a leave-in but it's not your traditional kind of leave-in conditioner that is there specifically just to hydrate and you know keep your moisture in i definitely want to see how long my hair you know will feel and be hydrated um, but that's also as well why I use the other products to help aid my hair even more because I'm not using a traditional leave-in conditioner like I normally would use. So I'll show you guys what my hair looks like now. All right, so here is my hair. Um, I did two strand twists to go underneath my wig. I'm gonna like put them really tightly close together. Um, so, you know. You know the vibes. Here's what my hair looks like. Definitely bouncy. Um, the elasticity is still there for sure. No complaints there. Let me unravel this one so you guys can see. Bam. So well defined. I definitely would say that it definitely added definition to my hair like it's supposed to as well like look at this look at this guys like it's shiny and definitely smooth as well and i have no complaints i'm not wearing my hair out in a style i'm not unraveling all of my twists because i will be wearing a wig and this is more so my protective styling but i can't wait to see what this looks like when i actually do wear my hair out like let me know in the comments if you guys want to see what my hair actually looks like in a full style and how long it lasts after using the detangling nectar as a leave-in. I feel like I've talked a lot in this video. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below how you feel about the detangling nectar. Have you ever used it as a leave-in? What do you think about my results? Would you use it as a leave-in if you haven't used it as a leave-in? Let me know. Let's really have a conversation down below because I am definitely here for using product in an alternative way. Yeah, that is it for my final review. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.